Greetings YouTube, I have made over 3,000 videos on my channel and yet I've never started off one quite like this. We're about to see what I call the scene of the crime for a BG2 chat that has a plan unfold that is so bizarre it was hard for me to believe I wasn't being punked when I got a Twitter direct message by Mr. Keldon Anderson, a fellow Okie from Tulsa. You see, he had this sort of joke with his battle group in his alliance because he had completed Act 6 the other day and he fought the Grand Master for the first time. And he brought a team of mainly Corvus for the path and Stealth Spidey for the Grand Master. Now, Fury and Deadpool were around for backup and the healing synergy as he was running suicides. So what happened was the Grand Master had Deadpool start, and he did more work in terms of getting the Grandmaster down damage-wise than any of his other champions, which shocked him to the point where he told his alliance that if Deadpool takes him down, he's just going to take his six-star Deadpool X-Force to rank two. He has sent me the video with the final kill shot, as well as what you're about to see, the conversation with his line mates. Now, the spacing with Deadpool X-Force with his dashes and attacks felt perfect for this boss fight, and his low damage wasn't actually an issue for him at all. So, right now, the goal is to show you some of the fight. Now, keep in mind, Keldon is not saying that Deadpool X-Force is suddenly some OP champion. He still thinks he's a bad meme champion, but he does hit decent, and his special two bleeds for about a tick of 2,400. All right, so, you scroll down. You can see we've got this Corvus screenshot. Oh, one out of every three runs is progress. Not kidding. If Deadpool gets him down, then he's going to rank two. I think I'm going to just make that comment the thumbnail. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to blow it up. Obviously, if you clicked on this video, you'll already see that this is the thumbnail. Yes, I want to see that too. Go Deadpool. Wait, is that a joke or are you using Deadpool? So, you know, even clearly his own alliance mates weren't sure what to think of this post. Well, let's go to the final fight. You can see that he has uh, uh, used some health boosts to level up his Deadpool against Act 6 Grandmaster. Down to 1% health, and let's just look at the strategy, right? So he is uh, backing up and just kind of intercepting. And keeping his distance. And the dashes, as he said, do a good amount of work for this fight. Now, wounded, special three. And we shall see how this goes. Plus 12% damage somehow. 1,728,000 rated Grandmaster shot KO'd. Wait a minute. He just told his alliance mates that if Deadpool X-Force takes the Grandmaster down, he's going to take him up. And in life, YouTube, you are only as good as your word. So we've got that screen. So here we go. Now, smartly, at least he didn't use his rank-up gem. <laughs> but still, we're talking about watching a video in which he takes this man all the way to rank two. It is mind-numbing to spend those resources, particularly the three tier five basic catalysts that it takes to take a six star to rank two. But it's his account. And I got to give this man full credit. Some people I'm sure are going to criticize him for wasting resources. But hey, maybe he is also on the forefront of the next beta test. Maybe he knows for the next Deadpool event or whatever, maybe there'll be a, a third Deadpool movie that'll come out at some point and he'll be upped. But his word is his word. I will say, I don't know what his mastery setup looks like right now. I didn't know he, he told me he was running suicides at one point, but... Pretty dang low PI for a rank 2 6 star. I was expecting to see at least, I don't know, 14,000. But let's see what his final PI total is. Barely.
barely over 13,000 for a rank two. That's shocking. We saw the comments, and then he wanted to pass on what it looks like to fight the everybody's favorite, I can do this all day, epic slash uncollected difficulty of the Mole Man expedition side quest for the month of March. And I, I got to say, what I like about watching him fight with Deadpool X-Force is he's got the dashes and the intercepts down really well. You saw it against the Grandmaster, and now you're seeing this against this fight, though, of course, dashing into his block is not what you want to do when you're fighting Mole Man. But along with Cole Obsidian, he has such a dramatically slow special one animation. I don't know about you, but there are times where I'll dex this shock and I'll forget that it's only halfway through the animation. But here comes the special two with the bleed ticks of 2,370, or 2,327, I should say. And you got to keep in mind that with Deep Wounds maxed out, for example, that does help it. Still so many better champions for bleed damage, but at the same time, um, it is what it is. The man told his alliance that if he got him down, he would take him up. I'm sure they thought it was a bad joke, but he did just that. So do you have respect for this man, or do you think he's a moron? <laughs> Comment below, let me know. And Kelton, thanks for reaching out and having the bravery to tell me this story. I love commentating unique MCOC stories that otherwise would never see the light of day. And this is definitely an example of that, my friend.